Hey, to all my good people out there on YouTube, I want you to hit that what? Bing! Subscribe button. Subscribe to me down below. I am getting ready to tell you everything it is about truck driving, being on the road, being away from home, making good money. Yes, I am your boy. I'm going to give y'all the full truth. and nothing but the truth, so help me what? God, to the true truck driver. If you are true, put your fingers crossed your heart. All right. Everybody out there that want to get in truck driving, hit that subscribe button. All right, now let's talk about truck driving. CDL, Class A truck driver. If you just got them CDL, Class A, congratulations. I'm happy for you. Yes, it is rewarding. It is also disappointing. Right now in 2023, we are having a terrible, terrible start of the 2023 year freight is very slow there are so many trucks out on the road right now and so little freight i know people under, don't understand why these warehouses are busted out the seams of number freight they're trying to figure out what they need to do with it they damn near giving it away all right that's why there is so much inventory inside the warehouses that these people have no need to ship it they have no need to ship it. Nowhere to go. The stores, they say, are packed. No, some of the shelves are empty. Right now, it is a broker's market and a shipper's market. They are making all the money right now because they have dropped the rates down low. So you guys with the CDLs, you want to get into a truck. You want to buy a truck. It is uh, not that easy. Yeah. If you just got that CDL, you're going to have to go out on the road for two years. Yes, you will. To get the experience to be able to drive in the city. That's why um, a lot of local companies, they do not hire drivers that just got the CDLs because you have no experience whatsoever in being out on the highway, backing up to docks, um, and getting that experience in to swing corners inside of a city. So that's why you need those two years of experience out on the road. Once you have got that two years out on the road, and be careful, let me tell you something. Be careful with whoever you go with um, getting into a truck, with a trainer. Don't let them tell you they're gonna pay you X, Y, B. Demand what you get paid, because you are now the professional CDL holder. You got your driver's license in your hand. That means you are a professional driver. Just remember, whatever you do in your car, it re will reflect on your driving record in history. So don't be out there doing nothing stupid in your car because that will also jack your insurance rates up out of this world, okay? Your insurance agents, they look at that, that history. How long you had your license, how many tickets you got. So you're the professional, all right? Now that you got that CDL, like I said, you went to work for a company, you're gonna have to work over the road. Demand them that you be home at least three to four days. It does not matter if you out there for two weeks, three weeks. Time you get out that truck and get back to the house, that's when your time starts and your days off. Don't let nobody fool you. You work one week, you have a day off. No, I'm gonna have two days off because that's what you have off when you go home Monday through Friday, you have the weekend off. So am I. So when I come back to work, I need to have off, uh, uh, go home, I need to have off just as many days as you had off. So you had, uh, I've been going on the road for two weeks, I need four consecutive days off. Two weekends straight, no aggravation, no headaches. Demand it, because you can get it. Yeah, you can get it. Also, if they come at you with a 30 cent um, per mile, tell them you want 35 and negotiate from there. Don't let these people tell you what they're going to give you when you now have the CDL and paid all this money to get those CDLs to get chumped out of your payment, okay? All right, so you've been on the road, you've been gone two years, you've been doing your thing, you've been watch the truck break down, you done watch it come back into play, you done been in a hotel room with your driver trainer, you done been home. Now it's time for you to buy a truck. The time that you've been spent out there on that road, I hope you've been saving your money up because you want to buy a truck and be your own owner operator. You need, first need to have gotten your credit together while you've been on the road. Next thing it is, you're going to need to have about $10,000 saved up. 
Yeah, that's just for the truck. You're going to need money for a trailer. Depends on what type of trailer you're getting. You can get these things financed, okay? Mercedes Financial will finance your truck as long as you have the right down payment, okay? Also, CAGE, C-A-G Capital, they will finance your truck. That's who I went through to get my very first truck. I put $10,000 down on my truck and I leased on to a company for about nine months, okay? Nine months gave me enough time to understand what I was doing, but Cage Capital, I went, I found the truck, I sent them the money, the $10,000, I got the truck, and from there I leased on to a company. Like I said, I did it for about nine months until I got to understand what the game was and how it was rolling. Um, I didn't need a, a dispatcher to book my loads. I could learn on my own how to book my loads and negotiate my own rates. The other thing about this, if somebody had been told you, there are gonna be some hard times in these trucks, all right, in your truck. Yes, very hard. Your truck's gonna break down quite a few times throughout the year. The belts are gonna break, the tensioners are gonna go out. The EGR coolers and valves, they will have problems with them. Your DEF system alone, that's going to have an issue. You need to be able to learn and know how to adjust your brakes on the truck because your brakes will go out of adjustment and you need to be able to get down there with your ratchet. If not, you would always end up in a shop at a TA or a Freightliner because you're depending on them to fix your truck when you should have bought yourself some tools and started to learn how to fix your truck. Read the books okay that they put in the trucks google it youtube it a lot of stuff now is put on youtube people have told you that the money has been so good with truck driving they made two hundred thousand dollars well let me tell you something they probably did make two hundred thousand dollars yeah let me tell you a hundred thousand dollars of that went to fuel if they made two hundred thousand dollars $20,000 probably went to repairs throughout the year. Yeah, because you're going to have repairs. Um, there's going to be so many repairs on your truck. The AC is going to go out. Like I said, the belts are going to break. The tensioners are going to snap. You're going to be sitting on the side of the road, can't figure out what's wrong. You're going to have to get the truck towed to a shop. That's going to come out your pocket until you can get reimbursed by your insurance company. That truck is gonna go sit in the shop because now they are backed up. There's not enough help to fix these trucks. So you're probably gonna be in a hotel room for at least two to three days, maybe a week, while your truck gets repaired. There is a minimum at Freightliner and these other dealerships that is a two hour minimum starting, I believe around $160 to $200 an hour. And the minimum is two hours just to diagnose your truck even though it might take 10 minutes, one hour, because all they do is plug it up to a computer and the computer diagnoses the truck and tells them what the problem is. But they're gonna charge you for the two hours. Then you're gonna have parts. The parts, whatever the parts are, you can always consider the labor is just as much as the parts cost. So you made 200, you spent $20,000, in parts and you just also spent a hundred thousand dollars in fuel how much did you just bring in all right we'll say what 60 70 thousand you got if this you have to do if the quarterly if the returns um you're gonna have to buy a tag every year that's fourteen hundred dollars you're gonna have to renew your insurance every single year that is a minimum down payment of ten percent unless you have the rollover insurance that keeps rolling throughout the year where you don't have to put any money down okay that insurance alone if you're a new truck driver just not getting into the game it's going to be somewhere about twenty thousand dollars for the year maybe more depends on who you go with geico uh, uh progressive um great west casualty insurance okay so now that you don't spend another twenty thousand dollars on the insurance tag all right how much are you down to now? We'll say about $40,000, $45,000. Yes, you got to have some great lanes and great rates.
to sustain making a hundred thousand dollars you can't have no breakdowns throughout that year you're not changing tires um these oil changes are gonna cost you 300 to 400 dollars per oil change you're gonna do that at least four times throughout the year every quarter which is four quarters throughout the year that's when you're gonna get your oil change done depends on how hard you roll in that truck you have an eld that goes in the truck you got to pay for that that comes out your pocket okay yes there is a lot toes by the way yeah because you're gonna be hitting toes you're gonna go through some toll roads if you got a pre-pass in your truck like we do we have pre-pass in the truck it costs you per truck to bypass that scale in the agriculture station okay so anybody done told you that trucking is sweet it's easy you better listen to me it's not that easy it is not but is it rewarding? Yes, it is. Because you become your own boss. You can take the day off whenever you want to. Huh? You making a destination call. Wherever you want to go. You want to see the country. You want to experience life. If you're a single person, yes, this is great. If you're a married man and you got to come home, yeah, you might miss, end up missing some birthdays. Yeah, some holidays. Because things will happen to you. All right? Out there on that road. Somebody's gonna back into your truck at one of these truck stops. I done had it happen to me at least three to four times. Why well, I had to call the insurance company. Had to go get the truck fixed and repaired. While the truck was getting fixed and repaired, I was out of work, no money coming in. At all. You don't get paid that week. So now you gotta realize, how do I run my business in order to sustain so I won't be going in the hole backwards. But I'm a give y'all everything I need to know. I mean, not I need to know, Lord have mercy. But you need to know so you can come up and be successful truck driver, owner operator, running your own business. I want you to hit me up, comment, subscribe down below because I am the true truck driver. I don't tell you nothing that you should not know. I give it to you like you supposed to know it, you know? Yeah. I'm Congratulations on you new CDL drivers, the ones that you owner operators out there. Anybody need some help in this logistics world we in right now? Hit me up, comment down below. Subscribe to my page. I am George. I am the true trucker. I will not kid you or lie to you. I am your boy George. Peace.